Oh hi, I'm Terry Talatunican. Welcome to Birds with me, amateur bird expert Terry Talatunican. Uh, some people say you can kill two birds with one stone. I don't think you should kill any birds. Leave stones where they are. Cheep cheep, I hear the birds calling. Why don't we go see which ones are out there? Hoot nanny butt buck. Boston chowder can. Hipster floral romper. Horny big beak. Frumpy duck. Tub thumping chumbawamba. Prince Albert. Banded hand sander. Rose breasted titanic sand. to meet and greet me in Bangor, Maine this Sunday at Steve Martin's 5th Annual Birds and Banjos Bonanza. So hop on a plane, train, or automobile because you don't want to miss, you don't want to be the jerk who misses out on seeing a couple of wild and crazy birds bringing down the house. I'll also be saying bird facts between songs. I'll see you there unless I see you here first. Hey, welcome back. We just saw a bunch of great birds, but now we're gonna learn about another great bird. And that great bird is the seagull. We're all familiar with this common seabird and have probably seen one or two lounging on the beach. You might think that the name seagull comes from their proximity to the water where they live, but in actuality it comes from the French term for bird who eats cigarette. Although you usually find them there, most seagulls actually hate the beach, citing that sand gets everywhere. Though most seagulls say that it's worth it for the occasional hot dog and for the view which they mean in a creepy way. The seagull's diet makes it one of the only species of birds to regularly get explosive diarrhea. Be careful where you park. Apart from the beach, you might find a seagull hanging out in a parking lot of a supermarket or liquor store, hoping to find a cool adult who will buy them some beer. Speaking of flocks of seagulls, did you know that the British New Wave band, A Flock of Seagulls, got their name when lead singer Mark Score saw an actual group of flock of seagulls steal a synth out of his van? In the 90s, after witnessing the rise in popularity of actor Steven Seagal, many seagulls started growing out ponytails and calling themselves seagulls. Many died after exposure to too much bad self-tanner. Wow, the seagull. What a great bird. And that's all the time we've got this week. But we'll be back with some more wonderful birds the next time I see you. Until then, have a fun time looking for birds outside. Goodbye. Goodbye.